Today's devotional, guys. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. No foothold. Do not go to bed angry. Ephesians chapter 4, 26 through 27. Anger is a naturally strong emotion. Oftentimes, when one is angry, it overcomes and overwhelms all other emotions that we feel. It is one of those forces in our lives that causes both good and righteous things to happen, but also can cause regret, foolishness, and harshness. It is so much easier to give in to our anger and feed that which burns within us to give in to our emotions. However, Paul's statement in the passage above which is nested within several abonishments, doesn't tell us to avoid this passion. In fact, he tells us we should feel angry. However, he tells us we shouldn't sin while feeling this strong emotion. Don't sin in your anger. There are many reasons we feel angry. Often it is because we see something that happened in the world that's unjust, unfair, or unrighteous. In these cases, we should be angry. The war in Iraq, certain things, the war in Ukraine, the way we left Iraq, all sorts of stuff. If someone is being taken advantage of, whether us or another, or if someone is being wronged, then being angered is the good and proper reaction. We should get upset when these things happen because they're going against the command of God to treat others as image bearers of God. You see, we're all born with the image of God. With this emotion, we are not to sin. This is not easy. With anger often comes the desire for justice, but our sinful nature often mistakes revenge for justice. While these two are similar, true justice is not taken revenge through words or actions. Rather, true justice is brought by and his law. It is sometimes difficult to not take matters into our own hands when we feel angry but if we do we are not serving god but his enemies was moses right for killing the egyptian who was beating his fellow israelite he took matters into his own hands instead of having faith that god would free and avenge his people this does not mean that inaction is the only option. Romans 13, 4 tells us that God put governments on this earth to enforce justice and bring God's wrath upon those who do wrong in our culture. This means that one of the options we have is to call upon our authorities to bring someone to justice, whether that be the police, state, or the federal government, or something like church or family authorities. These are some of the means by which God will bring about justice. Using these avenues to avoid sin will help prevent us from falling into the same trap as those who do wrong. This week, be angry, but do not sin in that anger. Use the tools and authorities in your life to bring about justice for those who are wronged. That is my prayer for you this week. That as you go about your week, that God shows you those injustices in your life 
that he fills you with righteous anger and he moves you in a way that is in line with his will for your life. In Jesus' name, that's my prayer for you for this week. Please, if we said something that struck a nerve, give us a thumbs up, a subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel. We're trying to get God's word out. That is my prayer to reach as many people as humanly possible. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Heavenly Father, and the Holy Spirit, I pray.